At the moment, I'm in Jersey. I just left in the Jersey, gym. Okay, right well, mm-hmm. with the uh, undefeated lightweight Stephen Ortiz, who on Wednesday night takes on un- fellow undefeated Jeremy Hill, live on Showbox, the new generation. Stephen, how you doing tonight? Good, man. How are you? Good, good. So we're about five days away from this fight with Jeremy Hill. I know uh, originally you were going to be fighting another Philly kid, Damon Allen. He got hurt. Jeremy Hill steps in. Talk about uh, th- this fight. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know too much about Jeremy. Uh, I, I couldn't really find too much footage on him. I know he's a six foot tall. The footage that I did see on him, uh, he's real, he's real, he's a real game fighter. You know, real fundamentally sound. Uh, you know, long jab. You know, real fundamentally sound and uh, real doable to you know bring the best out of me. That's what I look forward to. This is your, I believe, your second Showbox appearance. And, uh, you know, the fact that you've kind of been on this stage before, I don't think Hill has. You've been on this stage before. Do you feel uh, that's a little bit of an advantage for you? Uh, it don't matter, you know, whether if I was there or not before. Um, I, don't, I don't look at it in that way. Um, I just look at it like another uh, opponent, you know, that's in my way. So, uh you know, just ready to come get the win. By the way, what's uh, Stephen Ortiz's post-fight meal? A uh, post-workout meal you got going there? I mean grapes, cause I'm like on weight. <laughs> oh wow! Just, so a little, a little pack. A little pack you, you're 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 very tall for the 135 division. Is, is are you usually uh, on weight at uh, five days out? Uh, close at least close to the weight. Like today, I just I just left the gym right now, and I expect to. Uh, leave the way that I was, you know what I mean? So I'm like, whoa, damn, you know, uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier. I was like pretty low. So I just ate some grapes, even got a chance to uh, cheat and drink some uh, Gatorade real quick. Oh, wow. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, all, that, that's like Christmas to a, to, a, to a guy like you. It's like an early Christmas gift to be able to kind of <laughs> indul- to indulge in grapes. Um, Definitely. So, so uh, this fight, you know, fourth guy, fourth tail. You say he's a real durable guy from New Orleans. I spoke to him earlier. He seems very confident. What uh, does this? What what kind of door does this open to get your hand raised on next Wednesday night? What kind of door does it open? Yeah. Uh, I I feel like uh, it will open a lot of doors. You know what I mean? Uh, it will, it will step me in that you know that next step to you know becoming greater and uh, becoming more towards the elite level. Uh, you're on a card where uh, fellow Philadelphian Thomas Velasquez fighting Berlin, New Jersey's Victor Padilla, uh, Sam T is on the card. You're on the card. Is it? You feel it's a pretty cool thing that you know uh, for you guys from the area or on one big card on national television? Yeah, that's like that's like a first. You know I, that I've seen. It's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. Um, you know Victor Padilla is a great fighter. Uh, Thomas Velasquez is another doable you know great opponent a great, another great fighter who's gonna bring the best out of you know victor so that's gonna be a good bang uh and sam you know he comes to fight it just as long as the you know the right sam pops up it'll be a good night but uh yeah it's definitely a a good car for sure i know um your fight you were like we said it was damon allen obviously that fight has been on the table or was a done deal for uh, about a year now, it was supposed to be on Michelle's card, and obviously the pandemic happened. Uh, is that a fight that's going to happen at some time? I mean, if it happens, it happens. I'm cool with it at any moment. You know what I mean? Uh, at the moment, I'm I'm worried about Jeremy Hill. You know, it's been a year and a half. I ain't been in the ring. So I'm more, I'm not going to say I'm nervous, but I'm more anxious to, you know, get in there and get the win. You know what I mean? Uh it's more like I can't really say it's like nervous. I'm more just you know just anticipating to get it on and get this fight on over with and get the win and move on to the next thing and get my feet wet. You know what I mean? Yeah, this fight's in the um, Mohegan Sun. The Mohegan Sun. By what what what, what kind of Gatorade is that? Is that that's a, is that G two? It's Gatorade Frost. Oh, okay, I drink Gatorade Frost. I drink that same flavor. That and the G two. That's good. That's, That's good stuff, good. isn't it? So, um, 
uh, it's in the Mohegan Sun, the bubble, and all that stuff. I'm sure you've had a lot of your gym mates and stable mates have fought in the bubble situation, and I, this is your first uh, uh, time of it. Um, have you got any tips and pointers on you know what to do yourself for a few days while you can't really do the things that you normally do uh, fight week? Uh, I probably just relax. You know, relax my body. Uh. Cause like I said, it's been a year and a half, and uh, you know I feel good. Like I'm on weight. Like I said at the moment, uh, I don't feel, you know, like too drained, but I do feel like my body's feel exhausted. Like I'm tired, but I did a lot of moving around today. Like I was driving around for hours doing these exams, so maybe that could be the reason for the for the moment. But uh, I'll be in the room chilling, you know, working on. You know, little muscle memory things like little, little, little combinations and punches that I would be using during the fight, and uh, you know, just working lightly and staying elusive until until the bell rings. You're trained by Chino Rivas. Uh, what a well, he's obviously known around here in Philly and growing reputation nationally, internationally. Talk about uh, working with him and the, the things that he brings to the table. Uh, he's, he's a he's a great he's great at what he do. Um. You know, he got two uh, former champions who, uh, you know, he brought up, you know, from from having losses and, and you know, turned their careers around and, uh, you know, made them become champions and become winners and make lots of money. Uh, he's good at what he does. Um, for me, he, he, he's more like a mental guy for me. He, he trains me as well, but, you know, I like him. You know, to to be there for my mental, you know what I mean, to push me mentally. Uh, but you know, he works me. We train. We we do everything we need to do. But uh, we got I got assistant coaches that I use as well. So you know, I'm comfortable with them as well. You know, for training. So I'm cool with uh Chino. Gotta uh not be around for the moment. And you know what I'm saying. I gotta work with my assistants because, like I said, he'll come and he'll see me put in some work or spar and you know. Just, just his his IQ on what's going on. I'll, I'll, I'll take knowledge of his mental and uh, like his ability to you know motivate me through it. And uh, it's just something that I, I feel like he he has a gift in. Last couple of questions. We want to let you get home uh, late on a Friday night. And last <coughs> real quick questions. What do you want to say to the fans out there before we see you Wednesday night taking on Jeremy Hill live on Showbox, the New Generation. Uh. Would like to tell you guys to stay in tune. This will be my first fight in a year and a half, so uh, we we coming to we coming to perform. We coming to get the win. That's a fact. Um, but you know, just stay in tune because maybe two or three fights consistent, and I will be consistent now because I just you know signed the deal. So uh, I will be fighting consistently. Uh, so two or three fights in, um, you guys will be seeing like I'm the next you know big thing, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And where do we find your rope breast question on social media? You can find me on IG, Instagram at uh, Stephen underscore 215. And at Twitter at Ortiz Steve 4 or Stephen Steve Ortiz 4. Either one. I haven't been on there in a while, but it's still you're activated somewhere. to my phone. You, you, we'll find you somewhere. Well, Stephen, we wish you best of luck at home. And we will see you Wednesday night live on Showtime, Showbox, a new generation. We wish you best of luck, and we'll talk to you along the way. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right.